In this video, we're going to show you the secrets of doing something that many drivers find difficult to do well. Reverse parallel parking. Ready, Abby? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to try reverse parallel parking. Okay. <laughs> okay, so a lot of people have trouble with it, but yeah. we'll take it nice and slowly and you're going to be fine. Okay. So we'll go through it step by step first and then we'll give it a go. Mm -hmm. So the first thing to do when you're coming into to after you've chosen your space, for example, if we're going to be parking here, mm. so you'll be backing into where we currently are. Okay. So you pull up alongside the red car. Yep. All right, so you want to be about half a metre away from it, mm -hmm. no more than a metre. Okay, so right next to yep, it. Yep, right next to it. All right, um, you'll have to have been indicating to the left and you keep your indicator on the whole time through yep. this manoeuvre. Okay. Then you check for hazards, so you need to check both your blind spots and check in your mirror. Yep. Then you slowly reverse in a straight line until your rear wheel is in line with their back bumper. Now your rear wheel is below the corner of the side back window. All right. Okay, so that's a good reference point to use. And um, their bumper, if you get an idea of where, where that is, we're looking at the car as well. Okay. Okay, so you've come straight back until your rear wheel is in line with their rear bumper. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to turn your steering wheel to the left. Yeah. And you keep at that moving point. at that point now, and you keep moving slowly. You mm -hmm. don't stop. All right, you come into the park, and once the front of our car is clear of their car, then you start to turn your steering wheel to the right and that's going to make us okay. become parallel with the curb. So we're aiming to be about 30 centimetres away from the curb and parallel. And you want to be um, one to two metres behind the car in front when you're in your final position. Okay. Cool. All right. Shall we give it a go? Yes. Okay, and I'll talk you through it as we do it yeah, as well. Yeah, that would be helpful. Yeah. Okay. As you come up to the parking space you've chosen, remember to check your mirrors, signal for at least three seconds before you pull over, and make sure it's safe to pull over in front of the parking space. Position your car a little ahead of the vehicle in front of the park. Stop when the front door of your car is next to the front wheel of the other vehicle. You should be parallel to it and about half a metre away, but no more than a metre. Check for hazards before you start backing. Do a shoulder check on both sides to cover both blind spots. Check your rear view mirror for traffic behind you. When it's safe to start backing into the park, select reverse gear and look to the rear. You'll probably need to use a combination of looking out the rear window, rear side window and mirrors as you back into the park. Back slowly into the park. Remember to keep signalling left as you back in. When your rear wheel is opposite the parked vehicle's rear bumper, turn the steering wheel to the left. Keep backing slowly and steadily. Keep an eye on where you are in relation to the vehicle parked in front to make sure you don't hit it. Once the front of your car is clear of the rear of the parked vehicle, turn the steering wheel to the right to bring the front of your car in towards the kerb. Continue backing slowly until your vehicle is parallel to the kerb and within 30 centimetres of it. Change into first gear or drive and move forward. You may need to steer a bit to the left and then straighten up the steering wheel to keep the car parallel to the kerb to complete the park. You should stop one to two metres behind the vehicle in front. To finish the park, apply the handbrake and select neutral or park. Don't worry, it takes a bit of practice. It's a good idea to start practicing with no car parked behind you before moving on to smaller parking spaces. We've shown you the parking technique that will work most of the time, but you may have to adapt to this depending on the size of your vehicle, the size of your park, and how much the road slopes towards the curb. For a smaller park or longer vehicle, you may need a sharper angle. When you're first learning, practice with no cars behind you. Yeah, practice makes perfect, huh? Yeah, it does. So again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you go to pull out of the park, remember to check your mirrors, signal, and look over your shoulder, just as you would whenever you pull out from the curb. In your restricted license test, the testing officer will be checking to make sure you do this correctly. 
if you need to, it's okay to reverse a bit first to make it easier to pull out.